Hey guys, welcome back to Flatpak Effects, the place where I teach you all the tips and techniques for creating your very own video effects. So I've been working on some VFX for a short film called Once We're Heroes, directed by Adrian Prospero, and I wanna share with you a few of the techniques that I've used throughout the film. Now I'm gonna split all of those techniques into videos over the next few weeks, so look out for those, but let's jump straight over to After Effects. Okay, so in this particular scene here, we need to replace this sign in the background, and there's several ways we can do this, but here's one technique only using what is available to us inside of After Effects. So I've created a new composition with my clip in it, and the first thing you'll notice is that it's got a lot of movement in the shot. So the first thing we need to do is do a motion track to create a 3D camera. Now, in After Effects, if I come down to my Tracker panel, which is on the right-hand side, if it's not there, come up to Window, make sure Track is selected, and all you have to do is select your clip and then just hit Track Camera. So once that's finished, this has basically created all these little tracking points that it's found within our image. So next, we need to use these to create a 3D camera so that we can recreate this movement inside of After Effects. So if I drag my cursor over the screen, you'll see it's actually selecting a few of these points on the screen. And we want to make sure that the three points it's using are ones that are on our sign that we want to replace. So here we've got three points. And what I'm going to do is right click and I want to create a null and camera. Now all that's done is created a 3D camera and a null object, which is exactly where we need it. So the next part is we actually want to create the sign that's gonna go over the top. So what I need to do is just move along the video here until I can find a point that gives us a nice clean take of that sign or shows as much of that sign that's in focus. So about 18 frames here is what I need. And I'm gonna duplicate the main video. Then I'm gonna come up to layer down to time and I'm just gonna freeze frame. Now it's gonna pop up with this message and all that means I just need to delete the 3D camera on that particular layer. And now we've ended up with this still shot of that sign. Okay, next I'm gonna take my layer, come up to layer and down to pre-compose. I'm gonna call this layer new sign and I'm gonna make sure move all attributes is selected and then hit okay. Then I'm gonna open up that composition and this is what we've got here. So the first thing we can do on this composition is actually create a new blank sign before we put our new sign over the top. So I can do this by coming back to the start with my playhead, coming up to the tools and selecting the clone stamp. I'm gonna double click that layer. And then what I want to do, I'm gonna use, so I'm gonna hold Alt. And what I'm basically doing is clone stamping this layer to create a new blank slate. Now you'll notice I'm actually going over the edges and it doesn't actually matter as long as the main part of the sign is fully covered. So we've ended up with something that looks like this. Then I've imported my new image of my logo that I want to replace on the sign and I'm going to make this 3D and then basically try and reposition this so it fills my sign here. The other thing I can do is I don't want this little part here so I'm actually just going to draw a quick mask just to take that bit out. So now we've got our graphic positioned on the sign where we need it. At the moment, it doesn't look great. It doesn't blend at all with the scene. So we need to try and fix this. So obviously the sign's been up there for a while. So we need to try and make it look a bit worn and old. So there's a few things we can do. The first thing is we're gonna start with our background layer. We're gonna come up to effect, down to noise and grain and add grain. Then I wanna change the viewing mode to final output. I wanna change the intensity to be around 2.4 and the size, I'm just gonna drop that down to about 0.9. And all that's doing is just adding a bit of grain to our background sign layer. Then I'm also gonna come up to effect down to color correction and add some hue and saturation. And I just wanna drop the lightness of this layer to around negative 10 and that's just gonna help darken that sign there slightly. So you can see if I just toggle that background layer, we're just trying to get that sign to match that background as close as possible. So don't worry about all this excess stuff around the outside, we're just focusing on the part we want to replace, which is the sign. Next, I'm gonna take my logo layer, I'm gonna come up to effect and add the hue and saturation again. This time I'm gonna drop the saturation right down and I wanna bring the lightness up this time. Now it's looking quite sharp at the moment, so I'm also going to add some Gaussian blur. I'm probably gonna scale this up probably to around five. 
Then I'm also going to come back and add some grain to this layer. And the intensity I'm just going to drop down slightly. I'm going to change this to final output. And I'm also going to scale this size up to be about 1.3. And the last thing I want to add here is come down to stylize and add emboss. And I want to scale this contrast right up. And then I want to start to add the blend with original to adjust the intensity to something around there. So if I toggle this on and off, you can see that we've really started to degrade that image to better help match our background plate. So I'm going to leave this right here and we can always come back and fine tune this later. Okay, so back in my main sign composition, I'm gonna take our layer and hit T on the keyboard to drop the opacity. Then I'm gonna scroll across to where we originally made the still frame. So our two images line up. So that's about 18 frames for me. I'm Gonna zoom in here slightly. And what I want to do is take my pen tool and draw a mask that goes around the edge of this sign. Then we can add a little bit of feather to that mask and then just scale the opacity back up to 100%. So the next thing is we need to motion track this layer onto the background. So next we want to make this layer 3D and then fine tune the position so it matches up with our original sign. Now once we've done that, you can see it's actually stuck in our scene here. So if we play through this, you can see that we've actually got the correct position of the sign where it needs to be. Now the next problem we've got here is you can see that we're actually shooting out of a car window and we've got something in the foreground that needs to go over the sign. So we need to cover up the edge of our frame here. So we're gonna come over to the new sign composition. We're gonna take that background layer again and duplicate, move it up, and we're going to just delete all of these effect controls that we've put on it. And then what I want to do here is take my pen tool and I'm gonna draw a little mask that goes around the edge of our sign here. I'm gonna come down to that mask layer and add a little bit of feather. And what I actually wanna do is just stretch this layer slightly out and readjust this mask over the edge. And you can stretch this out and move it around until you're happy that you're lining up with the edge. And to check it, we just keep coming back to our main composition and we can see here if it's lining up with our edge or not. So I can keep moving this slightly over and then just keep adjusting this mask slightly and feather until we feel it's in the right position. Now, once I feel I've got it pretty close to where I need it, I can come back to our main composition, select my pen tool, and I can also draw another mask around here but for this mask, I'm going to change it to where it intersects and then hit invert and then add a very slight feather to that. And you can see that what that's done is just help clean up that edge just to sell the overall effect. Now from here, I can drop my original layer back over the top and you can keep switching between the two just to see how the overall effect actually looks. So from this point, it's really just about spending the time to adjust your effect until you get the results you're actually looking for. So there you go, guys. There's one technique you can use for replacing a sign inside of After Effects. So over the next couple of tutorials, I'm gonna show you how to replace a sign using other techniques, as well as create other video effects. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next tutorial.